It is our honor and privilege to award the 2010 Susan B. Anthony Failure is Impossible Award to Thelma Schoonmaker. Wonderful. Um, the failure is impossible is so appropriate for someone who's in the motion picture business because as I've been telling people here today, um, to get a film up on the screen the way it's supposed to be is a constant battle. Uh, it starts with the studios who don't understand the script and want you to change it. For example, Scorsese was told to take the drugs out of Goodfellas and then they would make it. And, and he said, but the whole story is about someone who gets into drugs and shouldn't, and I can't take it out. So it, it took a long time for him to get that movie made. And um, for us, we struggle constantly throughout the making of the film to make sure it's made properly, and then to make sure it doesn't get cut by the studios. And then, uh, as we were just jokingly referring to, we have to follow through on everything, even the projectionist who we call the final editor of the film, because sometimes they'll drop a reel or, <laughs> for example, with uh, Raging Bull, I was just uh, retelling the story of how I was going around checking how the film looked when it opened, and I came upon a projectionist in New Jersey who was carefully taking out all the color footage from the film because we had hot spliced it in so we could have pure black and white and pure color, and he, I said, what are you doing? I went in the booth and there was the, the, the home movies were spooling on the floor, and I said, what are you doing? And he said, well, they made a mistake at the lab. They, they cut in some color footage into this film, so... <laughs> You, you have to follow through every step of the way, even in foreign versions of the film where after you spent an incredible amount of time mixing the sound and getting everything perfect the way Scorsese wants it, and then you hear that in France somebody wanted to raise the music up, um, and it was told you can't do that because Mr. Scorsese doesn't want that, and he said, well, Mr. Scorsese doesn't understand the French people. So it's a, it's a constant battle, and you have to have deep conviction and passion uh, for your subject and to make sure it gets through to the end correctly. And Scorsese certainly has that. I have so much to thank him for. If there's one person in the world I have to thank tonight, it, it, uh, today, it is Martin Scorsese for giving me the most wonderful job in the world and then introducing me to my husband and giving me the most wonderful husband in the world. <laughs> so um, I am so blessed. Um, and I just want to say to anyone here who's a filmmaker, please uh, stick to your guns if you can, believe deeply, and carry on no matter what, just like Susan B. Anthony did. Um, and I, I just uh, am so grateful to be receiving this award here at George Eastman House because Scorsese and I are passionate fans of film history and it's so important to know that people are properly storing and, and preserving uh, the, the great films of the past. Scorsese, if he had his choice, would look at two old movies, I hate that term, classic movies is better, a day if he could. He constantly feasts upon their rich imagery and is inspired by them. So I think uh, it is essential that a place like George Eastman House be supported properly, and I'm so proud to be receiving this award, particularly here. Now, there couldn't be a better film for me to introduce than Red Shoes in terms of failure is impossible, because this is a film about having to make art, not wanting to make it, but having to make it, having something driving you so intensely that you have to make it no matter what. And you will see what this intoxicating atmosphere created in this film uh, brings to all artists, really. I mean, filmmakers, it's, it's as much a representation of how films are made as it is of how ballets are made. Um, and you'll see the great toll it can sometimes take on your personal life. But in the end, it is important to see the vision through. I'm very glad that Martin Scorsese allows me to do that. <laughs> so let me talk now first about The Red Shoes. 
Uh, if you're asked, Marty, to pick five films that he loves the most, which he hates to do, because there are probably a hundred that he would put in that list, um, Red Shoes is always one of them because of the brilliant filmmaking, the passionate commitment in it, the gorgeous use of color, the being out on a limb, just out on a dare. Uh, anything goes in this movie. It's like an artistic fever. But he loves it not only because of this, the filmmaking, but as I said, because it portrays the world we live in. 